Hi, welcome to this training series on buttons. In this series, we will guide you through the button software, showing you step-by-step -step how it works, what it can do, and how it simplifies system control. So when you first start buttons, you'll be presented with the watchdog window. This shows you all the underlying services that runs buttons. You can also restart all of these services if the need arises. When you press this button, you'll be taken to the login window. On the first start, you'll be asked to enter your admin password. So let's just do that quickly. When you press enter, you'll be taken into the user interface. Let's begin with the home screen, where you get an overview of your system. Left sidebar. This gives you access to the various system user interfaces. We will briefly go through each one in this introductory training. System overview. Here, you'll see the different components that make up your system, along with any potential issues that need attention. You will see that we have a warning on one of our surfaces, and there is also a issue badge on the home screen icon telling you that there is currently one warning on your system. Version information and feedback. This section displays the software version and provides a feedback option. Please note that this feedback option is not the primary support channel and may not be monitored as frequently as our other support options. Support channels. Slack community, a space where developers and users of all experience levels share solutions and insights. This collective knowledge is invaluable both to us as a company and to you as a customer. Facebook group. Similar to the Slack community, this is another great resource for troubleshooting and advice. Direct support from Bitfocus. For direct assistance, please email support at bitfocus.io. This will create a ticket in our support system, and our team will respond as soon as possible. Key features and concepts. Surface. A surface is the panel that users interact with to control the system. Examples include Stream Deck Studio, various other Stream Deck models, and iPads. We are continually expanding the range of supported surfaces. Position. A position is a collection of surfaces that form a working setup. This is where system configuration takes place, including assigning buttons and encoders to specific tasks. Each position operates independently, but configurations can be copied between positions to streamline large system setups. Connect. Under Connect, you'll find all the equipment, software, and services you wish to control, whether locally or over the internet. Our growing library currently supports around 600 different connections, spanning AV, audio, lighting, cameras, broadcast, streaming, graphics equipment, software, and more. You can explore the full list of available connections at bitfocus.io slash connections. Tags. Tags and buttons help you filter and organize your system efficiently. They can be structured into folders and collections, making it easier to manage larger systems. In a later training session, we'll show you how to use tags as filters. Routing. The routing page allows you to configure the automated routing system within buttons. Here, you can view different sources and destinations, manage port assignments, and customize labeling strategies that will be reflected on the surfaces. Settings. Under Settings, you will find system options such as exporting and importing the database, managing your license, and service status. And at last, we have Logout. The Logout button signs you out of the admin user interface. To maintain system security and integrity, always log out when you're not actively making changes or monitoring the system. This concludes our introduction to buttons. In the following sessions, we'll explore each section in more detail. Let's get started. I hope this was helpful. Make sure to subscribe for more training videos like this.